Are you looking for a digital planning app? Then watch this quick NoteShelf review. NoteShelf is the note-taking app that I use for digital planning, and here's why I love it so much. First, NoteShelf is available for download on both App Store and Google Play. Second, it's a very simple and intuitive app. And third, it offers a fantastic library of free content that you can use to see if this style of planning is really for you. So let's open the app and get started. The first thing you see is the My Notes tab. Here you find all the notebooks you have created or imported. If you click on the folder icon on the top left of your app, you can see all your categories and your recently opened documents. And the Settings tab lets you set a variety of things, such as library appearance, your type of handwriting, and the cloud services you use to back up your documents. And of course, you can search to find a particular document. Now, to start using a notebook, you can either create one from the templates available or import a digital planner to the app. I have a video on how to import documents to NoteShelf, so if you need further help, just click in the link appearing on your screen right now. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign to add a new notebook from the free templates. There are many options for both covers and paper style, including a minimalist planner template that you can start using straight away. In my new notebook, I can create extra pages by just sliding the paper to the left or to the right. All the tools you need are located at the top. At the top left corner, you find several options to change your template. You can add items to your document, rotate your notebook, or even add passwords. And with the plus sign, you can add several items to your document. The tools here in the center are the ones you use the most for digital planning and writing. With the pen tool, you have many options. You can change pen size, color, and styles. Very handy. You have similar customization options with the highlighter tool as well. Beside the eraser tool, you have the text tool. It's in case you don't want to handwrite, but you prefer typing. And the lasso tool lets you move or edit any image, text, or stickers around the paper. You can also create shapes easily with NoteShelf. By using the Shape tool, you can create circles, squares, or triangles that are symmetrical, as the app fixes them for you. This is great to add extra boxes to your planner, for instance. And the last tool is great for handwriting. It allows you to write easily with your pen without taking all the space in your page. And finally, the page options give you a view of all the pages in the document. From here, you can duplicate, delete, or reorder pages easily. Now that you know how to use all these tools, let's go ahead and do a quick digital planning to show you how it really works. For this tutorial, I'm using my planner that's already imported in the app. As you can see, the planner has hyperlinked tabs, which lets me easily navigate through the main pages of the document. When it comes to adding my notes to my digital planner, I can just simply write or check things off my list with the pen tool. I can fill in my tracker templates, add new graphics if I want to, and of course add more stickers to my collection. Then I drag, drop, and move things around with my lasso tool. Once you get used to this new planner style, you might not want to go back to paper planning at all. Click on the video in your screen to learn how to import several stickers to NoteShelf in one go.